Hi everyone, my name is Adobe Okonkwo. I am a Nigerian content creator based in Minnesota. Now on this channel, I make videos about productivity, lifestyle, building a career in the US, and just living my best life. If those are contents that interest you or you would like to see more about those contents, then you should definitely consider joining the family and subscribing. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my unboxing video. If you guys don't already know, I am a huge Apple girl. I love Apple products so much and I love their iPhones. So I was actually contemplating not getting the one because I was already using the 13 Pro Max but I just thought about it you know I just couldn't help myself so I decided to get it so in today's video I'll be sharing with you guys my unboxing and the iPhone that I got is the iPhone 14 Pro Max in deep purple in 256 gig just in case you're curious and proud to this I was using the 13 Pro Max in 256 serial blue I absolutely love the color I don't know how I'm going to feel about the new this new color because I haven't seen it in real time but we're going to be checking it out together before I start the unboxing I would like to say my apologies for not posting consistently as I would like. Classes have started. Before classes started, my husband and I actually went to Miami and by the time we got back, literally the next day I had my first class. So it's been classes non-stop and I've been trying to just race against time to make sure that I'm submitting my assignments and doing all classworks as needed. And because I'm also the president of two, um, the president of a club and also an ambassador for the other club, I've been planning events to welcome the new student this first two weeks. But this third week, I feel like I have finally gotten my reading. However, today is Sunday I won't be able to upload today but by next week Wednesday I should be back to my twice weekly schedule but in the meantime I do apologize thank you so much for sticking it out with me I hope you guys enjoyed today's video enough to subscribe like this video and most importantly comment down below if you were to get an iPhone 14 Pro which one would you get what color would you get and what memory size would you get with that said without any further ado I my, the goal of today's video is to avoid talking too much so I'm gonna go straight to my unboxing and I have it right here um, I, sorry, <laughs> I got it right here. Before I open it though, I'm going to be taking some boba tea. I went to an Asian store the other day called Sun Foods in Minnesota. So if you're in Minnesota, then you know what I'm, where I'm talking about. It's in Brooklyn Park. And I bought a pack of this because God, I love boba tea. <laughs> I actually bought the boba beads itself. Now, you know, I said I was not going to talk too much, but now I'm just like, but yeah, I wanted to do this for the purpose of it. So so good all right now that i've gotten something in my system i feel a lot better and we're gonna go ahead and unbox this beautiful phone ah! this is what it looks like when it comes out of the packaging i'm going to be doing like an overhead so it's a little bit detailed and not me talking but this is what it looks like off the bats they went back to their white boxes i liked the black one because i feel it just gave that luxury vibe i don't know white i mean is aesthetic and stuff but i prefer the black packaging let me know in the comment section which packaging you liked yeah that's what it looks like the back
so i just finished unboxing it i hope you guys enjoyed it enough to give me a thumbs up like this video and share i haven't gotten accessories yet for it just because like i said it was more of an impulsive purchase than like oh let me think about it i'm going to order a case and a screen protector because apparently the screen protector i have wouldn't work with that the lens protector as well won't work with this because the the camera circles are slightly bigger however my old case does fit and i really like this case so i'm going to manage it for as long as i can so let me put it in the case and show you yeah so in the meantime till my other stuff arrive i think i'll be using this the purple i like purple is not really my color so i'm not that's why i'm not really excited as i was for the blue one like just look at the blue one it was so cute you know but yeah this is what it looks like i am not a huge purple person i wish if the purple was brighter yeah but this one just looks like a dirty purple just my opinion again you guys are open to your own sentiments but i think it looks better without the case or any case at all yeah it perhaps it looks better like just holding it but my my anxiety won't let me use a phone without a case or screen protector so in the meantime i'm going to be extremely careful with this and i'm going to get a screen protector and lens cover for both of this and perhaps a new case maybe the yellowness is what is just like making it not that great so well i should have just gotten silver mm, it doesn't really matter so yeah now that i'm thinking about it i should have gotten silver instead i don't know i'm gonna ask my husband i mean i still have 14 days if i need to go change it exchange it or anything but we'll see how that goes i always like the new colors just this time i don't like the purple again just my thoughts let me show you guys up closer from this angle so you can see it doesn't really show i mean like if you're looking at it closely like this it doesn't show that it's like purple it's almost like black purple with yellow tint what i'm excited about is the dynamic range the only issue like maybe i'm just being critical at this point but so when you swipe it goes there and then because the phone is big you have to actually like so if i want to use the top of my phone i usually would have to move it up like this and then tap so i don't know if they it wouldn't have worked either way i was thinking if they had put the notch somewhere at the bottom here but then that would mean that the camera will be at the bottom okay i'm just rambling now okay, let me take an indoor selfie like i always do oh my god it's <laughs> okay forget all the rants that i just said it seems like they perfected their portrait mode because this is god just what brighter it's better even the video too oh my goodness cinematic mode now and i am loving it it's really great like the the video quality and picture quality is really nice so the portrait on the iphone 14 pro is definitely better okay so i'm gonna put it out there for you guys to see but in the meantime let me take a look at it myself again so on this one i have contrast photography style and then on this one i have vibrant so that might be playing a key role but quite honestly i don't see any major difference so if you want my honest opinion if you're already using the 13 pro max especially this gorgeous blue color then you do not need this i know it's a hard truth but it's pretty much the same i think the only thing that really excited me was the dynamic island and the silver claimed like it's supposed to have a better back camera but we're going to be testing that out once we go out so i'm going to go take a quick run show you guys what the major differences are so if that's something that interests you make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because i'm really like putting in efforts we just make sure i'm capturing everything i'll see you guys downstairs let me go set up and yeah i'll take pictures and just insert it but i'm gonna end the video here though so but i'm gonna put like all of the other clips at the back as bluffers so if you did enjoy today's video give me a thumbs up like this video share with your friends and leave a comment down below would you be upgrading to the iphone 14 pro max let me know in the comment section on to my next one guys i love you stay safe bye cinematic mode now and i am loving it so let's come closer even though my face is like very imperfect but like it's so detailed that it's showing like every nook and cranial this is the regular video it sucks one thing i did notice is the action mode is only on the regular video recording it's not on the cinematic mode which sucks but this is what it looks like